like a little red symbol. Keith has not invited me to a game. Oh. Neither have you. Is one of you hosting? Yeah, I got you. Come in. Okay. I was oh, trying cool. to improve my audio. Makes sense. Uh, is my knee visible on camera right now? No. Good. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Uh, you're over we there. are live. All right, we're here for another Friday night. Um, I have uh, Declan and Chris with me tonight, and um, we are just going to do a one-on-one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. Chris, would you want to talk about the game for just a sec? Yeah, I always want to talk about the game for just a sec. Uh, so this is Arcane Arena. Um, it's a mix between a deck builder and a tactics board game. So the uh, the goal of the game is to build a strong deck so that in the final round of combat, you're the last person standing. And the way to go about achieving that is that um, the game is split into three phases, or three rounds, uh, each with two phases. So we're going to spend some time buying cards, adding cards to our deck, then we're going to spend some time playing our cards to move around the board and beat each other up. Then we're going to um, repeat that process three times. So um, right now, Keith is... Looks like it's Keith. Mm, no, it's, not Keith. It's Declan. Uh, he's putting the six cards on display that will be purchasable um, by us in what's called the trainer pool. This is um, very expensive. I rolled a 50. Yeah, so far the cards on offer are pretty expensive. Um, so... The, the, what we're going to do is each player is going to draw four cards on each of their turns, um, and then they're going to play their cards for the move value, or sorry, the buy value on the card, which is the first value um, next to the little purse, and the first value that's not in an Arabic numeral, so it's, it's displayed in dots. So cards, um, you'll total up the value of all four of your cards, and that's how many... Uh, how much currency, how many resources you have to purchase cards, and the cards you can purchase, uh, will, how expensive it is to purchase a card is denoted by the number um, in the center on the left in an Arabic numeral. So focus, which is always available, costs two, whereas dodge and costs, sorry, uh, magic missile with the text dodge this, uh, costs four, shove costs four, sleep costs seven of those cards that are available to us right now. Um, so we're all going to die. potential already on the board. Yeah, so some of the cards have very specific synergies with each other. Um, and on this board, Forceful Strike is the card with the highest base attack value in the game. And Throw of the Hunt uh, lets you deal damage equal to the combined attack value of multiple cards in your deck. So you want cards like Forceful Strike if you buy Throw of the Hunt. But... Um, if you notice, these two cards have zero dots in their buy value, so if you buy them in the first round, um, often you will run into trouble in later rounds as you have less, fewer resources uh, to purchase cards. Moving the forward. thing to note is that if you're running a Thrill of the Hunt deck, you are un unlikely to need higher costing things, because the higher costing things are spells, generally. There are a few exceptions, but like... That's, that's a fair point um, that he's making. Um, well, this which is, like, is that yeah. certain kinds of decks um, lend themselves well to not having that many resources and most of the just deal high damage cards in the game because they don't do something else as well uh, have relatively low cost so has anybody rolled a die to see who goes first I, I rolled mine I rolled a 15. mine is up here and I rolled an 11 I rolled a 15 it's in the center of the board I rolled an 8 so that 15 gets to go first Oh, I moved blue incorrectly. Sorry. Yellow should be off the board. Okay. So um, I will go first. And I have a buy value or a currency of three. All right. Not a lot of options, but a couple. There is not a lot of options. So you get forceful strike if you want damage, focus if you want versatility. Right. Um, I'm just going to adjust this. Uh, we just did an update today, 
and I messed with the starting locations on some of these cards, and now, because they're not exactly where they were, it's messed up with my own. Oops. Um, <laughs> so That's I moved the focuses around but a little bit. While, while we're talking about that, there's a, um, we can see the new artwork for Forceful Strike. Forceful Strike actually had, was the face with the fist that was punching, um, but we decided to move that artwork over to Jarring Blow, because that felt more like, uh, a jarring blow rather than a forceful strike, and this felt more forceful than jarring. Yeah, and Wound, which is also on display, is a new art as well. Um, obviously, some of the cards are a little bit further along, as the Wound background still uses the, uh, um, I don't know the right word for it. Keith, you have a word for Wait, it. What the was that? thing that helps you. The armature. Are you talking about the Maybe? grid pattern on the back of the artwork? That's on yeah, with the lines that show the quarters and... Yes, that is... The technical term for that is called an armature. And what that does yeah. is allow you to sort of keep things in perspective with each other in the composition. So, like, if you notice, like, a lot of the body movements, like the knee and the way that there's a line going from the knee up through the elbow follows the diagonal and sort of like from the foot in the bottom left up to the, where the head is follows the other angle. So it's it's just a way of laying out the artwork so there's a sort of sense of dynamic in the geometry that also ties all of the artwork to each of the cards. So there's a sort of sense of connection between them. Yeah, I just figured it helped you find the, uh, the, the quarters, the halves, and everything, which... Just makes that's sure where it that you, starts, uh, but if you look, um, I mean, there's a whole sort of um, I don't know what to call it, but there's um, <clears throat> basically, if you look at the horizontal blue lines, um, there's this grid system the way that, like I had the green lines, um, where those green lines cross the diagonal lines sort of are going deep into the card, going into the card, like a 3D perspective, it helps to um, keep an idea of where you are with scale and proportion going into the perspective so that, like, you know, like you are do, you're, um, you're doing the 3D proper, the proper, the 3D is coming across correctly. Cool. Uh, just a quick note, um, we've only had one stream previous to this one where we used this mechanic. But we have now uh, counters in front of us. We used to use dice. So I ticked yours down, Keith. You should you should be on your second turn now. Okay. Which means of the three, it ticks down once, so you have two left. All right, so it's back to me? Back to you, yeah. All right, so i you I've can got... see if you check out uh, the person to your right, right, their number, gotcha. then you can figure out whether or not it should be your turn. That's true, but it's hard. I've, uh, one hard part is I am trying to keep the screen for the screen. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So five... Yeah, you got five. You could double buy, you could get shove or magic missile. The simple trade looks good. Um, it does. But I think I'm going to go with magic missile. All right. That's another simple trade that has to go down the drain. Yeah, so one of the rules of the game is that as we are stocking these six cards, we never want two copies of the same card or too many cards of the same type. And the type is shown by uh, the background symbol in the center of the top or the color of the card. Um, so Arcane Focus and Sleep are the same type. They're both green and they both have the little eye symbol. Um, and Shove and Block are the same. Shove and Block of both card. have the like um, the square with the rectangle in the background, or I guess the squarish rectangle and then the more rectangular rectangle in the background, and they're black. Um, Thrill of the Hunt and Simple Trade have their own color and um, trainer belt symbol as well. I have three money this time. Uh, I'm going to pick up this Simple Trade. I'm building to have... Uh, That's three okay. green. Have to toss it out. And there's Tornado. Oh, no. Telekinesis <laughs> Break. Telekinesis. Yeah, so those two cards are both orange cards. Uh, they're both like attacking spells. And they both... Um, Picture a player casting a spell on someone else, and that person is tossed into the air. Um, so sometimes it can be a little confusing to see them. They're also both extremely powerful. Yeah, they're both expensive and powerful. Um, I also only have three. I'm going to get a focus. 
sense. All right. Sadly, it seems like all of these expensive cards are going to go down the drain. Sure, but cards go down the drain no matter what happens. So. Yeah, but it would have been nice if it like one of us got like a high costing card early, or two of us, just so it'd be like a nice, interesting start. Well, here's one of those issues that I had like uh, Chris brought up earlier of um, getting cards that have no pips in the currency value or the buy value. I've got because of that, I've got three blanks on my currency, and I only have one, so that means I can't buy anything this round. All right. Well, yeah. And that's... Those first two cards are strong in combat, but getting a third card is also very good. Because your starting deck cards are not that strong. So here's my uh, last buy of the first round. I have three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to pick up hmm. Arcane. Flurry of Blows, two of the best com, one of the best combo card, well, two sets of some of the best combo cards, are on the board and they're about to get up to the trash because I only have three. Yeah, so I mean there uh, there are three different very combo heavy cards on the board. I'd say Throw the Hunt and Flurry of the Blows. One one of them wants high movement, one of them wants high attack, and then Shev and Telekinesis both play with uh, with Crippling Cut, which deals damage to people when they move. Shove and telekinesis move people around. So And sleep can set up for any one of those combos to be even more powerful. Well, sleep is just ludicrously powerful. <laughs> yeah, because if somebody is asleep, they can't do anything in response to you punching them. and can't do anything in response to you tossing them. Um, that is not actually one of the rules. When you're asleep, you can still play um, uh, abilities. So you can still play block when you're asleep, which is kind of weird. Um, but you can't play the reactive spells because you're not allowed to play spells when you're asleep. The rule for I mean, asleep that is still you holds true for telekinesis. Then you can't cancel a telekinesis if you're asleep. Then that's true. You can you can play very specific reactive cards. It just so happens that that's the only one that's on the table right now. All right. Yeah. So I just finished my turn. Uh, I bought my last card. Did you buy your last card? I only have three, so I'm just gonna buy another focus. Okay. Uh, Keith already went, so I'm going to take myself down to zero and then back up to ten, because in the first round yep. of play, you start with ten health in the combat round, or the combat phase. Um, in phase two, we'll each buy four times, and in phase three, we'll buy five times, while in combat, in, phase, in round two, we'll have fifteen health, and in round three, we'll have twenty. Uh, there's little reminder cards, um, which will be more helpful um, in the physical game, and we'll track them with beads, but because of the way Tabletop Simulator works, we're using the counters to show our health and our um, number of turns Trying taken. Trying to manage training. beads on those cards in Tabletop Simulator will be a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, so we could have made it way bigger, like we could have scaled them up massively, um, and then it would be pretty clear, but it's just very finicky to move a small thing around. But and it's also it's like, not very finicky to hit. This is around. really a nice size is to it, be able to is see. Is it across possible the table. to animate a clock arm on it? The what? On a counter? Yeah. So like when you're at yeah, probably. Um, you, you, as opposed to representing it in this way. Ultimately, um, we're going to create assets. We're going to create nicer assets. These are just sort of placeholders. There'll be a nice little... I want to create a nice little sort of ticker that's sort of a combination between this clicker and the card. Um, yeah, so that's a, a deeper priority, but right now, obviously, the, the number one priority is um, making sure that the assets for the game that will translate into the physical game. Yeah. Um, so we're working on... Moving forward on the art, of course, but also we just changed our box size, so we have to do a little bit of work getting um, our box art to be appropriate for that. Okay. Um, so that's what we're working on. So In case anybody was curious. It is my turn. Yep. So I am going to play Forceful Strike. Uh, I'm, not, I'm going to discard Forceful Strike to throw Magic Missile at this favor. Mm. Cool. And then I am going to move three, one, two, three, and attack this favor for two. So a note, uh, this is the big prize um, in the combat rounds. Um, round one and two, um, you collect favor tokens by knocking players out or knocking tokens off the board, which have two health. Um, round three, there's
there are server tokens on the board, but the last person standing in round three wins the game. So that's the big goal in round three. In rounds one and two, you get favor, as I just mentioned, by dealing a knockout blow, reducing something to zero or less hit points, um, or zero or less health. And players have 10 health, and the tokens around the corners of the board have two health each. Knocking out a player is worth two, knocking out a token is worth one. Uh, if you're the last person standing, that's also worth one. And favor tokens can be spent um, in combat. You can spend two to draw a card. In the training phase, you can spend any amount, and you get that much currency for just that turn. So he just finished his turn. What's up? Sorry. I'd like to offer an idea to implement as another use for favor tokens. It just brought it was brought up to my mind because of that last situation. Lots of the board was blocked off because of such high cost cards that none of us could have access to. Would it be a my thought is perhaps like on round two or three we can spend favor to delete one of the cards and replace it with a new replace one. Replace a card. Yeah. So that's a that's a thought that's been pitched before. Um, it is interesting because there can be issues around the the board being out of reach for people, mm -hmm. but in the later rounds of the game, that's less likely to occur just because you can spend favor to get the extra currency to be able to afford those cards. Um, but but yeah, that I, also I could be used and, for like, hey, I want to deny a card at the same time. Yeah. Would that right? Which is kind of lame. Um, mm. You already you already kind of suffer from multiple people. If you want to like set up getting two cards that are good together, you're already pretty. There's a lot of defense that can be done anyway because people can buy the cards away from you. And if you're playing with multiple opponents, um, there's just multiple people who might want the same card. Um, it's an interesting thought, but it is um, something we'd have to try and balance around. So we'll take a look at that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, well. think, I think the focus okay. right now is because, like, as it is, the game feels pretty balanced. And I think, like, the goal is to get this version of it to reality and then see how that how it plays balanced as it is right now. And then in the next variation, you know, from that experience to be able to add things like this. Like, this, that might be a great idea to add, but then we need to find something that may need to balance it, you know, if it offsets something in a certain direction. Yeah, so. okay, so I'm just going to take my turn now, because yep. I've been just talking instead of doing that. I'm going to play two, car two buy cards as moves. Move is the second value. The first one is a purse, the second one's a running person, the third one's a uh, fist. So, um, I'm going to move four spaces. One, two, three, four. And I'm next to this favor token, which I'll attack to collect it. And then I'll play move uh, to move three. One, two, three. Back towards where I started. Um, that's all four of my cards. As my turn ends, I'll draw until I have four, just like in the other phases. A quick note, uh, players can keep cards in their hand uh, if they don't want to play them on this turn, and then they will draw them on the following turn. Right. Or they will keep them in hand and then only draw up to four. And the thing I want to try out just when I play with my friends is trying a specialized game mode for this, just for funsies. Oh, yeah, I mean, you definitely but, do that. Um, you know, it's just, there, 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 there's sort of that, and then we need to make sure that it's very clear what the, I guess, canon rules are. Well, yeah, base yeah. rules, and then um, what's the, well, yeah, just other modes of play. Mm -hmm. The other mode of play I have an idea for is yeah. you should, you discard your whole entire starter deck and draw eight cards at random from the training huh. pool. Interesting. Um, that, poof. That's interesting because we could very reasonably play like only two rounds that way. So that that could be a quicker form of the game. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you don't need as much setup time if you already start with cards that have a little more action with them. All right. Um, did you just finish your turn, Daniel? Yep, so I moved turn. three, killed the token, and then ended turn, okay. keeping two cards in hand. Cool. Two cards in hand, okay. Though, as you already know, the only things I bought were two focuses and uh, uncanny dash. So I don't actually have powerful spells to like be like, oh, I'm scary. No, I'm not scary. I'm good at <laughs> running. I'm good at sure. running. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and... 
I, I'm just going to park there. Oh, interesting. All right, I mean, so... Yeah, that was I'm one of those situations where it would have taken up all of my cards just to move to, next to any of you. And the last thing I, I want to do is just set myself up to be pummeled, especially with uh, with Dr. Fuko. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so I didn't get anything of worth. I got focuses, which are good, but not as good as, like, other aggressive cards. So I'm going to play a card which is just high utility, but it's very powerful. I'm going to play Arcane Focus, which lets me discard one card uh, to draw three. Uh, it's not clear, necessarily, to the undiscerning eye that you have to discard a card to play Arcane Focus. All spells in the game have the same symbol at the top. That's a purple sphere or a purple circle, lightning in the background, and then an orange arc in the front. All cards with an orange arc, uh, you have to discard a card to get their effects. So all spells, you have to discard a card. Some other cards, you also have to discard a card to get their effects. I'm going to... So I played that. I drew discarded one, drew three. Then I'm going to move three. One, two, three. Then I'm going to move two. One, two. Then I'm going to punch Keith for two. And then I'm going to run away. I'm going to play two moves to move six. One, two, three, four, five. All right. That's it for me. Um, as evidenced by how we've been playing, um, uh, you can move diagonally. That doesn't cost any extra. And you can, um, you can attack things that are in an adjacent space. You can't move into the same space that something already is, a favorite token or another player. Um, and you can't move over somebody either. And you can't move over somebody either. So sometimes you can body block to make it more difficult for people to Which move That away. really comes to handy in double in team play. Right. So there's there's a, the main mode of the game, which is the the normal mode for one, two, for two or three players. Um, and then for four players, you can play four-player free-for-all, or you can play two-on-two. Two. Mm -hmm. And if you play two-on-two, two, there's a lot of like uh, tactics you can do on the board with mm -hmm. your teammate to try and keep your opponent um, controlled. Wait, so I shove, finish my turn. shove and crippling yeah. cut combos. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, when, when, like, when you're team with teammates, being able to throw the card combos for the extra, extra damage is really fun. Yeah, so this, oftentimes you can kind of... Oh, sorry, go ahead. It's just way too cost-effective not to go after Keith. Okay. Draw a card. Okay. Two damage. Four damage total. Five damage total. Yeesh. Okay. Did you, what, what card did you have that pulled more cards? Uncanny Dash. Okay. I move two, and then gotcha. I'm able to draw one. Okie dokie. Yeah. And Kenny Dash. Pretty strong. But that was all of my aggressive cards. I now have no aggressive cards in hand, for the most part. <laughs> sure, but uh, this game... Not, this phase of the game, mm -hmm. round one, it's very easy to uh, redraw the cards that you already played, since your deck is so small. You'll get your strongest attacks. Yeah. In two turns at the latest. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you, Doctor Fuka, for two. Okay. And then I am going to move three. One, two, three. And then I am going to discard... Oh, Keith, you should be at three. He hit you for five and you were at eight. Right? Maybe I... Okay. Right? Wait. Two focuses and a move you had him with? Yeah. Cool. Um, all right. So now I'm going to discard um, the other move card to throw magic missile at Dr. Fuka. And that's four damage, right? Three damage. No, it's three damage at range five. So you should have had five damage from me. Yep. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. I'll move three. One, two, three. And then I'll move three again. One, two, three. And then I will box you for one second. Okay. Then I think I kind of just want to body block so it's harder for you to go be a piece. So I'm going to discard this procure but not do anything. I mean, okay, that means you're going to get hit for it. Sure. Hopefully not for ten. One. Oof. Two total. Three total. Seven. Five total. Five. I forgot if you had block or not, so I was staggering it out to be like, hey, please bait out the block. Please bait out the block. <laughs> um, just a quick note. Most of the cards in the game, you can only play on your own turn. Some cards say trigger in the center. Um, cards that say trigger, you can play when it's not your turn, when their condition is met. The card block that he just referenced, uh, you can play when you get attacked. You're up, Keith. I don't have one, by the way. Yeah, I know. But now you're blocking me from hitting Declan. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I thought I was being a bro, but apparently didn't do it well enough. Well, the problem is, the only option I have is to hit the bro. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Both me and Keith can be killed with the average amount of damage in any hand. All right, so I'm going to move three. And then I'm going to move another one. Okay, we're all up in a little cluster. And the reason why I'm going after Dr. Fukup is because he's the only one I think that I can knock out. I'm going to hit you with three. Oh. Dr. Fukup. Okay. And then I'm going to hit you with one. Yep. So because you knocked somebody out, you get two extra favor tokens for a total of four on the round, right? Because you picked yeah. up two on your first turn. All right, but you're standing next to Zimbin, and you only have three health, so I'm going to bop you for two. Yep, I mean, that's pretty much going to knock me out. And then one more after that. As said, if you're four or less health, your kill range for the average amount of damage any deck can do, even if you aren't a normal physical damage-based deck. Because yeah. the, uh, start, the starter damage cards have two damage, the movement cards have one damage. And then, of course, you're going to get other things that just do either the same amount or more. That's fair. Uh, it's very unlikely that a hand can't deal four. Uh, I think the average number of damage in, in an opening hand is five from the base deck. Yeah. Because it should be two, two, which is four, and six divided by eight times four. I'm doing dumb math. doesn't matter. Um, it's Friday okay. night. I don't do math on Friday night. That's a fair <laughs> way to live your life, I guess. All right, so everybody should be at four now for the number of uh, turns they'll have in this round. Yep. I was the last person standing, so I collected two for knocking out Keith. One more. I have four favorite tokens. Hey, I just want to do a quick shout-out. We've got the new artwork for Aim Strike here. Ooh, new art. And then we also have the... Um, what used to be Forceful Strike is now Jarring Blow. Right, so one card has uh, changed has its changed art. Has changed the artwork. Okay. All right, Chris, you're up. All right, I've got uh, these four cards for a total of one, two, three, four currency. Um, and for four currency, I'm going to spend two favor to get up to six, and I'm going to buy that in Tangle. Yeah, you like with that, that entangle. Lot. You with entangle. And there's a fireball. fireball. There's a fireball. Fireball. Uh, so I'm going to take my number and of I cards. I have five total. Five. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Good options.
Having a way to deal with spellcasters is good. Okay, Keith's turn. And I have... Five, I believe. One, two, three... Nope, I've got four. It's like four. So up to eight for you. Man, the new aim strike looks baller. It does look awesome. I like the... Yeah. I like the background, like circles with... Or ovals with an ovals. Alright. Um... I'm going to go ahead and spend one favor. And I'm going to take resounding shield. Shake up. Yeah, resounding shield. Definitely the one I would have picked up uh, on my turn if I was still there, but it's not. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is more than six, so I will buy fireball. This is why I bought the thing that makes you discard. <laughs> I'm going to take this down because I've only got two buys left now. And there's a crippling cut to go with that telekinesis that we saw earlier on. Though, did anybody take it? I nobody I took telekinesis. I don't think nobody took it. I, I bought Arcane Focus instead because I didn't. I wasn't sure where I wanted to go. And that's an all -rounder. There has not been a lot of spells going out, but there's also not been a lot of Well, spells. there are some spells. There's some. I just have them all. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Shake Up is a good combat card, plus it also will just stop things like Mage Armor from happening. Yeah, so Shake Up um, takes any card that's attached to a player. All the cards that stay in play always attach to a player at the moment. Is it my turn now? Decide. Yes, it is. It is your turn now. You can have your second buy of the round. Okay, so I have three. And I am going to spend one favor and take Magic Missile. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So more defense is available. I have one money, and one money is not enough to do anything interesting. So I'm not gonna buy anything. That's the sad. That's being at the candy store with a penny. <laughs> <laughs> well, back in my day, that was penny candy. <laughs> I don't know. I was in the day when Jolly Ranchers were two cents. <laughs> Maybe I they were just that. doing that something a, silly to get the kids to come hang that out. That was a I nightmare in the neighborhood, man. When Jolly Ranchers went from one penny to two pennies. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I'm just going to be full on a control deck in this game. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of value in keeping other people from productively interacting with you. Um, yeah, because of I mean, both my of favorite Magic the Gathering deck is a weird control deck. That should doesn't be have at, any instance. should be at one, right? Yeah, I just yeah. didn't mark it down the last time I bought, and this is... Another buy, so yeah, I'm only at one now. Alright, so I've got two. Got two? Two cards here, or you have two more turns? I think I've got two. I'm the, I'm the last of the round, so I've got two buys left. Alright. I'm going to spend another favor. And I'm going to take Aim Strike. Okay, that's the second crippling cut. That would have been great for anybody who wanted to make... <laughs> oh, Ooh, new art! Here's Tornado. This was the other card. With oh, yeah, there's a new Tornado. Throwing somebody into the air. Huh, I wonder what this can be used with. <laughs> yeah, those two cards do have synergy. So on my turn, I'm going to play... Simple trade is a buy, and it says, played as a buy, you can discard symbol to draw two. So I'm going to discard attack to draw two, and then I'm going to play the rest of my cards. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight is more than tornado costs. So I will pick up tornado. And there's a shove also for crippling cut. Wow. Wow, okay. Someone should have committed when I showed up. I didn't. Nope. 
So I'm done buying cards for the round. Mm-hmm. So I've shuffled my discard into my deck and drawn four. That's Crowd control. <laughs> Just management. Getting crippling cut so I can manage everyone. All right. I only have one, so I can't buy it. Insult me. That no candy was a pretty for you. Frequent thing for many weeks. No. This is why it was so good for me to get so many focuses early. Like, sure, they aren't good for, like, if you want to do a lot of damage, but they're good if you want to have consistent buy values. Yep, that is what they are. They are very good for that. Um. So, I'm gonna take my first turn in the second combat round, or second combat phase in round two. I'm gonna play a move to move three. One, two, three. And up here, and I will punch this. Get up. And I will move two. One, two, and keep my last card. Yep, Declan. Okay. What? Move two. Move an additional two. Focus to deal two damage. And focus to run away. Okay. My turn? Yep. yep. Kind of put him in a box there. That kind of sucked, Declan. So hey, I had lots of people up against me last time. This I'm is gonna, only fair. I'm going to discard this by to throw a magic missile at you, Dr. Fuka. Okay. And then I'm going to discard Force of Strike to throw a magic missile at you, Dr. Fuka. What? Okay. <laughs> Apparently you trying to kill me just... again? That's for taking my favor. <laughs> I did nothing else to you. I didn't run up to you and punch you in the face. I took one favor. You can still get favor. I right. made the arena look pretty for a round. And also, <laughs> also, it's fair that I, I took that favor it up. because you deprived me of favor last time. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> well, I'm going to play Arcane Focus and discard move to drop three cards. Then I'm going to move three. I'm going to go one, two, three. And then I'm going to shoot Keith with a fireball. Okay, I will take that. So you take three, and then there's a fireball burning on you. Okay, hold on. And then... I will discard move to throw you in a tornado. One, Yay! Two, three spaces. <laughs> How many damage is that? Uh, they are both three damage, so you should have took in a to taken a total of six. Okay. Might wanna. Okay. A few notes for for this playthrough. Okay, that's the end of my turn. Draw my last four cards. And you're up, Declan. Okay. Put him right in prime position for you. Two damage. Four damage total. I'm going to resound that back at you. So right. you get to discard one, but you get to draw one, Keith. mostly fine with that, because I'm just going to run away and you have to discard two cards to even be able to do anything to me. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be too beat up on our turn. Or, on his turn. Now we have the exact same amount of health. Now you have very little reason to continue targeting me with a full health person to your left. <laughs> That's fair. I'm very scary, though. Maybe he wants to run away from me. Looks like 
Keith is up. Yeah, I am up. I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five. You need to discard two to be able to move. Yeah, that's true. You're in a tornado. Oh, I did not. I forgot about that. Okay, hold up. Um. So I will discard attack and attack, and that will take care of the tornado, and then I'm going to move three. All right. So at the start of my turn, Fireball will take down to one, and you'll take one, mm -hmm. which you just did. And then I'm going to go over to the other person. So I mess with you plenty. One, two, three. And then I will entangle the good doctor. Which that does two damage. It has three health, so it's probably going to get shaken up. Hey, Chris, you got called out in the chat room by a poker miser. If you know who poker miser is. Ah, uh, yeah, let me, uh... Hello, poker miser. Welcome right. aboard. <laughs> yeah. Is that my password for this? No, it never is. Go, go, go! So, two damage to the favor. Okay. And then three damage to the entangle. So when Tango fell off, you sent it back to me? Cool. Yep. Um, okay. He's one hit already falling off. I got distracted by handling uh, stream things. Um, yeah, so, it's, it's complex when you have to play a game and talk to the chat yes, room at the is, same time. Yes, it is. Definitely. <laughs> Especially when you haven't logged in, and so you weren't even... Um, in the right position to check that thing. Um, who is Welcome Poker to Miser? streaming. Do I know them? Let's shout them out a little bit. Yeah. That's they why I'm looking back. forward to getting Declan back on and helping us. And um, it ends up being a lot for a Friday night. Alright, are you doing stuff? Keith, it's your turn. Oh, right? is it my turn? I'm yeah, sorry, so. I was lost in the chat room too. I don't know why. I think I was in the chat room inside my head. Um, all right. I don't much I can do, but I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to discard this and hit Chris for four. Alright, go to 11. Um, and it's your turn, and then Fireball will give me one point of damage and you can take it away. Yes, I can. Alright. Uh, huh. Well, I'm going to play Tornado on Dr. Fuka. Discarding move. Got disconnected from the Steam client. Fun. Okay, give me a second. Yep. Do I need to send you another invite? No, I can just manually join it. Gotcha. 
I looked at my at the end game chat and it said Doctor Who Cup disconnected. I was like, no, I haven't. And then it said you disconnected. I was like, oh, I guess I did. Sometimes uh, the robots are ahead of us. And you just use tornado on me, and that's three damage. Yep. And I will send you to the corner, and then I will punch Keith for two, and then one more. You know, you could have brought yep, me. Yep, could have knocked either of you out. But I yeah. didn't feel like doing that. <laughs> and it's my turn. It is. Shake up. Huh. And I'm going to do on Candy Dash. Drawing blow. Oh, wait, no, that's not Keith, is it? No, it isn't. So, huh, okay. So I need to move further if I want to get to Keith. So, here to get to Keith and use drawing blow on Keith. So that's one point of damage? And you have to discard a card. Okay. I will discard that card. And then a focus. On who? On you. Okay. You're the only person I can kill. Alright, so it looks like Keith got knocked out. Yep. A good doctor collects two heavy tokens. I knew I was going to die, so I was like, well, I will walk in <laughs> as much focus as I can before I die. Yeah, you're playing uh, like half a run south. So Keith gets knocked south. off the board, and I know for a fact I'm going to get knocked off the board. <laughs> <laughs> so you're at two. Yeah, I'll pop you for two. That's <laughs> that, was, okay. that was fast. Okay. So I'll get three favorite tokens. Um, one for last person standing, and two for uh, the knockout blow. All right. I'm going to load up the favor tokens in the corners for round three. Get Keith into his position. Oh, that's... Okay, no. That's good. Ooh, oh, Procure. procure. We three. really need Procure. Yeah. We really need Procure, right? <laughs> Look, we don't control what the trainers offer to teach us. Sometimes, Sometimes like, the trainers are drunk. <laughs> it's true. Sometimes the trainers appear to be drunk. All right, I was the last person standing, so I go first in this round. I'm going to start with simple trade, discard move, drop two. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven money. A tornado that's not worth any. Um, and I'll pick up trip. Hey, Dash has a new card art. Yeah, it does. Um, it's very rough. Of all the new artwork, it's the roughest. <laughs> I have five. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me just refresh myself. Yeah, I'll spend a favor to get Creeping Sickness. As I said, I am the control mage of this game. Yeah. Do you like to play Pillow Fort or something? What? You, you made a comment about a magic control deck with no instants, and I can't think of one besides the white enchantment decks. Oh no, this is just a deck that I made up on my own. It made the way that it works that it has enchantments that allow me to copy other people's abilities or cool. make it to where it sucks a lot for them like one of the just as an example whenever they cast an instant or sorcery the well whenever they cast a spell right, any spell go. they have to either sacrifice five life or discard a card how painful quandary 
Yep. I have and two of those in the deck. Card. I also have a uh, hive mind, so I copy every single instance in their deck that they cast. All right, Chris, you're yeah, up. Yeah, all right. It's my turn? Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. I have been bad and didn't fix my uh, counter to be using Ooh. the appropriate stuff, so I should have started with five. I've had one. Or have I had two? Yeah. Had one. This will be your second one. This will be my second one, yeah. so I'll take You've down one now. You've gone through one round. I've got two. I'm going to buy Dash, because Dash is the there best, too, I think. Counterspell? <laughs> oh, oh, boy. That's pretty good against me. One of my best cards are spells. So, about being a control deck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or deflect. Mm. Mm, both options are pretty reasonable. Um, crap. Where is that thing? I'll um, get rid of Tree favor to get both. Nice. So I have double the chances of getting a defensive card. Stasis field. So I have four. I'm going to take aim strike. Teleport. That has some artwork on it, too. Mm -hmm. And Chris, I believe it's your turn. Okay. Yep. Uh, I got another two. But I don't really want another dash. So I'm just going to discard two three cards. Nah, I'm just going to discard my whole hand. And uh, not buy anything. I have uh, four. Yes, that's not really gaseous. I have four, and I'm going to use first aid. Cool, cool, cool. There's another jarring blow. And I have four. Sad, we didn't see a single mental clarity for as many spells there has been. Yeah, mental clarity um, lets you draw the card back. Um, it, it says if you pay the discard cost with it, you get to draw a card. I'll take Jarring um, Blow. Trip. Another one. Uh, so you took Drawing Blow, I have my penultimate buy. Um, I'm going to spend two favor, um, and in addition to my three from my hand, one, two, three, I'll be able to pick up Stasis Field. <laughs> oh, that's my trick. Uh, I have four. Oh. I'll just pass this turn and discard three of my cards. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, okay. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. What do you want to pick up? I have no idea. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm going to go ahead and take Trip. A 
another Arcane Focus. Ooh. I like Arcane Focus. I've got three, four, five, and then I'll discard Fireball. Whoa, where'd my Fireball go? Over here. Draw two, and then six, seven is enough for Arcane Focus. I'm all about that focus. The other kind. Oh, and there's a concussive blow that says, screw all spellcasters. Oh, no, it does. It's no, it's just wrong one. Wrong one. My brain was missing. Oh, you thought brain. stunning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Still good. Yeah, but do I even want it? I already have one in my deck. You can really go ham on somebody. Mm. Screw it. It'll make it less likely for you people to get valuable things in their hands if I just unload it onto either one of you. Or just want both of them onto one of you. Um, yeah. If they both got onto one of us, that person's deck would be pretty... Pretty hard done. I have two. And actually, I have, yeah, that's all I got is two. I'm glad that Arcane Resonance is going to the trash. Uh huh. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna take um, that. Arcane Resonance lets you play a card without paying its discard cost. As right. long as it's in your discard pile. That's it. That's it. All right, we're done training, and now we are in the Tournament of Champions, round three combat phase. Uh, last person standing wins the game. It's a Buddha Marathrash game. Generally on the final phase, focus is on valuable to somebody who needs the extra card draw at this point. And if you're only able to get one focus, then it's useless to get <laughs> an extra focus because you don't have two, so you can't draw an additional card. I have oh, a, you mean favor? Yeah, I have the, saying focus. I have favor, the smallest ring. hand. Yeah. I have the smallest hand I've ever had. I have 18 cards. I also only have 18 cards. There was just a few turns where we were both... Um, like Yeah, I had two turns where I had one. Them. I have exactly 20. 20 is the most common number since we have 12 turns in the uh, yeah. across the three training phases. But sometimes you double buy and you get a few more. Sometimes people put wounds in your deck because they're mean. Um, and uh, sometimes you can thin your deck with one of the cards uh, called Cleanse the Mind. But that's the big thing you're buying from Cleanse the Mind is the ability to remove two cards. All right, so I won the previous round, so I'm going to do some stuff in this one. Whoopsie. Not sure what yet. And Chris doesn't even need to go for favor this time because he has four favor. That's true, but I'm going to go to this corner and beat up some favor anyway because I don't really want to hit you, you guys with this crappy hand. Just bop. Keep one card. All right, I'm done. I have one favor, so my goal is to make sure I lock in to have two favors so I have that extra card draw that I need at the last second. And I will pass turn. Do, do, do. What do I need to do? Mm -mm -mm. Um, all right, so I am going to go ahead and move three, and I am going to attack this with two, and then I will move two here. And that's where I'm going to be. All right. Well, I could move the three spaces, and I guess I could draw him in. That's a pretty good 
move. All right, I'm going to move two, one, two, and then I'm going to discard Stasis Field to try and put Keith in a tornado. I have nothing to block that. I have nothing to block that. I'm going to move one, two, three, and deal you three damage. And then I can't use this last card, so I'm just going to keep it. Next person's up. Mm-hmm. So I'm in the tornado, I cannot move, but I can still attack from the tornado? Yes, you can. You can throw punches as you're flailing around up there. So we're going to move here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Going to move <laughs> here. Hey, that's me. What's up? Mm -hmm. Concussive blow. Oof. Take two. And gonna trash it. Alright, I'm gonna take two wounds and shuffle them into my deck. Yep. Got any other Alright, so is that it, Declan? Oh, you got one more card. I'm debating. Yeah, I'll pass. All right, so I am going to discard this card to throw magic missile at Dr. Fuga. That's the And those magic missiles are like magnetic. For, for okay, the I take the I take the three damage. I don't right. know why you're targeting the guy that has both deflect and mat and <laughs> did, it well, did, it hit, did it hit you? I mean, it hit me this time, yes, okay. but like in general, <laughs> in general, and, why are you aiming at the I guy for the best defensive spells for that? <laughs> I discarded two attack cards to get rid of tornado. Fair enough. All right, so you can move again. I'm gonna do something probably. Um, all right, I'll attack you for two, Doctor. Okay. And then I'll move three. One, two, three. And then I'll shoot a fireball at Keith. Spread the damage between the two of you. Okay. And I'm done. Okay. One, two, three. Another concussive blow. On me. Yep. Rude. Did you use your trash net? Yep. All right. That goes I'm walking around with a bunch of wounds. There's three left in my e card deck. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to take two from that as well. So I'll just yep. Take two. You got more for me? Yeah, two more, just so you're even closer. Closer? Closer in health wise, and I'm going to move away. One, two, three. All right. Keith's up. I am. All right, so I am do, do, do. I'm gonna move three. One, two, three. Move one, two, another three. And then I am going to do one, two on this fireball. And get that off. Yeah, don't wanna burn. I'm going over Makes here sense. and getting the I'm ran over in the corner and get the flames out. <laughs> Alright. Can I do anything? I think this ward is really making life more difficult. 
All right, let's start by discarding wound to play arcane focus. Anybody get a counter and want to use it? No, I don't have one. Keith, you want to? I don't know if you have one. Nope. Keith does not. I'm the only one who got anything similar to a counter spell. I have nothing. I'm gonna play can... another arcane focus, discarding another one. Great. And draw more wounds. Yeah, well. <laughs> that's my lot in life. All right, I'm gonna move over to you. One, two, three. Blue, which is doctor, I think. Mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna punch you for two. Okay. Hit you with a move for one. Okay. And I'm on a run away for seven. <laughs> All right, you guys are having a weird physics behavior, so I'm gonna center you somewhere else. Into the corner I go. Alright. Okay. I'm going to use first aid to heal too. Yep. So I'm back to the same amount of health as everybody else. All 14. Yeah. Well, I would say that I am losing since I have four nonsense cards in my deck now. Uh, draw a card. So not by a lot since I have the strongest deck, I think, so. Yeah, why do you think I put so many wounds in your deck in the first place? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it makes sense to do that, but... <laughs> I got lucky that I drew the correct cards, but it still was the right choice. Uh, uh, let's see what happens. Once we're finished with the game for the night, I want to talk to you about a few things. So I'm making a note of them externally yeah. right now. Okay. Then I'm going to pass turn. It's my turn? Yep. Okay. Hmm. Who do I go for? I'm going to move three, and then I'm going to hit Dr. Fuka for three. I mean, okay. <laughs> and then I am going to discard Dash to throw from a magic missile at you. Also at me? Yeah. Point blank range. Counterspell. We both draw one. Yeah. And then I'm going to move away. <laughs> Sense. Somebody put a bunch of fucking horns in my deck, so I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I got 11. All right, Had a good reason to stop ones. complaining. You did it to yourself by building a good deck. Yeah, okay. Um, I will discard wounds to draw three cards with Arcane Foundry. And I'll figure out how to speak. Then I will dash. One, two, three, four. I'll punch you for two, Doctor. And then I will run back to my corner. <laughs> Oh yeah, high impact turn. Play six cards. End up in the same position having not one person for two. <laughs> we do it a little, right. a little bit at a time. Yep. Alright, you're up, Doctor. Three big sickness on to Keith. <laughs> you're gonna make both of our decks full of crap. So, 
Yeah. Well, you both keep targeting me. That's fair. I feel like you should run to a corner of your own. I don't have the movement to do that. Like, if I use my cards for movement, then I don't have them for defense. That is fair. Um, Keith, you're second. Are you taking two or getting a wound in your deck? Um, I'll take a wound. It goes to the top, right? Let's read what second says over here. Um, second, take two or add a wound card to your deck. Yeah, go to the top. That's the wording on this is shuffle. Yeah, add means go on top. Gotcha. And then, hold on, let's see. Uh. And I'm not even able to get value out of this. So... I mean, I'm not tar targeting you with spells that much. So, yeah, that makes sense. Keep the turn. Okay, so I'm going to move <laughs> two. And then I'm going to discard attack into a magic missile at Dr. Pico. Reflect. Alright, so it doesn't connect, but I don't think I'm in range for it. You're definitely not in range. Yeah. As said, what is the point of targeting me? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You got anything else with your last card? That's Keith? it. I mean, there, there's nothing else I could do. That's the only thing I had to do. <laughs> That's fair. You could reposition to aim at the guy who has the better deck. Nope. Uh, to me, you've got the more dangerous deck, Declan. The guy who has basically no damage and just sits here and just like, hope I don't die. Well, I'm going to Arcane Focus discarding Stasis Globe. Alright. Then I'm going to... Then I'm going to... I'm going to move two, three. Two, three, and then I'm gonna keep these cards, I guess, just hang out in a worse position. That means you probably don't have wounds if you're keeping cards. Well, not anymore. Yeah, <laughs> I had one, but I played it to move around. All right, I'm done. You're up. Okay, so this creeping sickness comes off of me. Yep. <laughs> oh, just because I have nothing else to do, I'm going to use this wound to move one, and I will go ahead and attack this thing. And then I'm going to move one more into the corner. Uh, man, you guys are far away right now. It's a 7-10 split. Yeah. Well, one of you has more health, so I'm going to move three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to discard Entangle to shoot you with a fireball, Keith. Okay. You take three, and you get one of these. Oh, well, I have two dice. Ooh. We'll put this one down to two. And I'll keep this last card. And just hang it. It's my turn. I'm going to use first aid. 
so I have a little bit more elf. Then I'm going to move two. Then I'm going to move one. Because spacing is extremely important. And I pass. Okay. Oh, I like this uh, little triangle we got going on. It would be uh, perfect if you were right here. Yeah, well, I'm not. <laughs> Put me back. So <laughs> I'm going dis to discard move to throw magic missile at Kalahat. Oof. Three. 11. All back at 11. And I am just going to stay in place. And that's the end of my turn. Uh, so you Chris, do you, have a, do you have a tornado in your hand? Don't worry about it. I'm saying this for your benefit, not for your detriment. <laughs> I might. I do have a card that will combo with it. Uh, All right, so I take one damage from the fireball. Yep, it ticks down already. I will uh, range on this. It's a dumb card. I All gotta... I'm saying is that if you want to have a better chance at a kill shot, save your tornado. I'm going to play tornado on you, Dr. Fuka. I mean, okay. You I guess you it? don't. I don't want. I guess you don't want me to use crippling cut on Keith. I didn't know you had that, but it's okay. Uh, that's what I was trying to tell you. I'm using it on you. No, I don't have a counter to it. One, two, three. Move over there. And then I will uh, move away a little bit. I'm done. Now you've given me exactly no reason to stay there. Uh, well, you're tornado. That's a reason. Well, no. You've given me no reason to stay in the area to help you kill Keith. So, that's do that. Fair. Move two. Draw one. <laughs> Move three. That is my smelly shield pushing people away. And then draw three. And it's Keith's turn. It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Everybody is so damn far away. Like you're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't even have that much movement. Okay, you could knock the fireball off at least. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to knock the fireball off of me. A thing I noticed with first aid, it has a range of one, so if you're full health, you could heal a teammate instead if you're on the same team. I'm just going to move to over there. And that's the end of my turn. Um, this card's all bad. <laughs> I'm going to play this move to go in the corner. I'm just going to discard the rest of them. I don't like them. Did anybody hear what I said? Or did, was my mic muted? I didn't catch what you just said. What did you say? I noticed how heal has a range of one, so you can heal anybody who's standing right next to you. Absolutely. Yeah, so you can heal a teammate. Yep. Yeah. Oh, did not mean to do that. Dude. And it's my turn. Honestly, let's get rid of that. And just draw a card. Pass. All right, so I'm going to move three. One, two, three. And um, I'm just going 
just gonna, that's it. How about? That's it. All right. Uh, man, all my cards are so bad. Blame. Not me. I didn't choose to have these crappy cards. I mean, it's, it's right. kind of like in a... All right, I do nothing. Next person's up. It's a grinder. All right, these cards are good now. All right. Mm, yeah, it's my turn. No, I want to <laughs> say out of range of most things still. Yep, it's Key's turn. Hello? What? I said it was your turn, Keith. Oh, I know. I'm thinking. Okay. All right. Mm. All right. So I am going to dash one, two, three, four, and then I am going to move another one, and then I am going to forceful strike you for three. Okay. And then I am, what am I going to do? I'm going to... Run away. I'm now. That's it, Chris. You're up. Probably in kill range for Chris now. Maybe. I guess I'll draw an extra <coughs> card. Move three, one, two, three, and then I'll move two more, one, two, and then I will toss toss Keith in a tornado. Maybe one, two, three, and then I'll just discard this card because I don't want it. I'm done. Mm, okay. Keith right now, he'll be put into kill range for you to kill him. That is fair. This way now everybody is in kill range of everyone. It's <laughs> a good strategy. Alright, my turn. Yep. Okay. So. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and try it just to see what happens. I'm gonna discard, move, buy, 
get rid of tornado. Okay. And I'm gonna move two. Or if you just move one, I'm gonna hit Dr. Fook up for two. Okay. And then I am gonna use two favor. Take another card. To draw the forceful strike. And I'm gonna hit Dr. Fook up with forceful strike. Oof. Mm. So that takes Dr. Fook up out, correct? Yeah, looks like it does. And that will give me two favor. It will give you two favor. Um, huh. I'm going to take one step towards you with this wound. And then punch you with this attack. And I'm going to move away four with a dash and one with a wound. And that's it for me. Hmm. I'm going to move Nope. Not gonna move? I'm just going to, I my cards were I couldn't do anything with what I had. Alright, well I'm gonna start by spending two favor to draw a card. And then I will play Arcane Focus discarding trip. Draw three. And then I'll discard wound to Arcane Focus and draw three <laughs> more. Then I will move three towards you. One, two, three. And then I will. I'll just write down this. Three. Okay. Then I'll take one step with wound. I will discard move to shoot you with a fireball. That's three. And discard attack to entangle you for two more. That's it. I was, ho I was, yeah. <laughs> Who's the one that flipped the table? Me. That was my victory table flip. Should I not do that? This is this is why I thought you should have been like me for Chris. Chris has a better long range deck than any of us, so he <laughs> yeah. can just poke us to death while we try to get closer to him. Well, I couldn't. I, I knew I couldn't take Chris out, but I knew that I had a chance of taking you out, Declan. Well, so it's possible that uh, it, on that turn that he said he had a bad hand, if it was pretty strong and he had spent his favor, maybe he could have gotten me. But I agree with you. I, I was the one to focus. Yeah. Having one like, round in one and two. If there are two weak easy. players versus a strong player, the strategy then becomes the two play weak players versus the strong player, mm -hmm. not the weak and the strong player against the weak player, because then, then the weak player just loses straight outright because mm -hmm. they help the strong player. Um, yeah, I guess. But you if, know, but if you, two weak players fight against the strong player and knock out the strong player, then it will be basically even playing field because they're both ha have about the same strength as each other. I would say it's more about weak deck, strong deck, than weak deck, weak player, strong player. Um, I don't think that I am particularly more... I'm not saying I, was I wasn't just trying to... Favor. Yeah. I wasn't trying to mean that players are bad. I was trying to talk about the decks themselves and just quality of deck. Can you still undo the table flip, Keith? I Even think all the way so. back here? Alright, so I think we should talk about um, rebalancing the card Tornado. Okay. I think that it's so much more powerful than... Uh, like. And the only the counter balance. for it... it like the only counter for it if it's already been cast is shake up and then yeah. and it's pretty rare to even find shake up in the trainer pool and then it's even rarer to find it in your hand at the right time 
I would take off well, one so of the so disc The biggest cards. problem with it, I think, is that in comparison to, say, telekinesis, which has a condition on its damage and then doesn't freeze the opponent in place for two cards, like, it's the, the relative strength of the card, I think, is probably a little too high. And Why I think we should probably lower the range damage and the force movement but keep the double discard. Because okay. the, the point of the card, I think, is reasonable to have it be the move you and then stop you from... Or, or or it could have the same target range, and ha but have a longer toss distance. Because it's a tornado, it's going to be very strong. So instead of you having to discard cards to be able to move again, you just are tossed so farther you're, away you're from the target. So you're saying less damage and more movement. Like like being able to like less damage, but then be able to well move less uh, movement control. Like remove the ability to disable movement, but extend the range you can be thrown. So that's that makes the card very very similar to telekinesis. Yeah. And then it's just comparing two cards, or then it's just the numbers on the two cards not being the same, mm. but the effects being basically the same. I, I like at the moment the way every attack spell. I feel like they all feel different. Like, Magic Missile has long range, yeah. and it just happens. Fireball has the burn. Entangle, you, you have to deal damage to knock it off. Tornado, you have to discard cards to move again. Telekinesis moves you really far. Um, and I think that Tornado can keep its identity of um, the, like, double <coughs> discard to get rid of it without, um, without being so, like, overbearing. It, feels like, it felt like every time I drew the card, like, I kind of just want to run away until I draw a tornado, do that, and then run yeah, away again. Because it's so much more powerful. Than on, on the receiving end of the tornado most of the time, it was very frustrating. Yeah, and it, yeah, and I think it would feel a lot less frustrating if the person had to get close and personal yeah. to make it work. And if it didn't hit as hard and didn't move you as far. Because it feels like it's almost giving you four cards worth of What's value. What's the range like on them. tornado? What's up? What's the tornado? What's the range on the tornado? Uh, too long. Four right now. So like, so like, uh, okay. So, what are we saying? Mo it's range four, damage three, move them three spaces, double discard. And I think that the yeah. that it should be range three, damage two, forced movement two, double discard. That I feel is better. So I think we're we should update that. Um, since you spoke before we do the prototype purchasing. Yeah. So um, and I think we should probably be off stream if we keep talking about okay. this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm stopping the stream. Bye, everybody. Oh, cool.